Number 13 from Paper 1, the multiple choice in this old higher 2015. We've got a diagram here of this, the graph of this quadratic. And there's two statements, so it's a multiple selection. The first one says, is A the coefficient of x squared greater than zero? Is it positive? Yes, it's going upwards, so that bit's true. Next statement says, what about the discriminant? Is that also greater than zero? Well, the discriminant would give you the values of x that would give an answer of zero. And this says there should be two of them. Well, there's none of them. That discriminant's negative, so that's false. This graph does not cut the x-axis. There are no roots to the equation equal to zero. So I'm looking for one only. That would be a B. Fourteen. If cos x is negative two-fifths, what's cos 2x? Well, that's just your formula. It's two cos squared x minus one. So it's two times the square of negative two-fifths, don't forget the negatives in there, minus one. But that square, that negative, of course, doesn't matter. It's going to be two times, then square the top, four, square the bottom, 25, minus one. So that means you've got two fours are eight twenty-fifths, take away one, which is, of course, another 25 twenty-fifths. So it's going to be negative, and there's another 17 to make that. So it should be negative 17 20, oops, 20 fifths. And negative 17 20 fifths is D. 15. Number 15 says, it shows you a cubic, and it says, what's the equation of this? Now, I suppose you could just do it by trying that. There's no point trying the zeros in, because they'll just give zeros. Trying the point 0, negative 3, putting 0 in and seeing which one gives you negative 3 as an answer. Or you could just say, well, what would this have looked like? If it cuts at these three points, it would have had the factors x plus 2, x plus 1, and x minus 3. But there might have been some number at the front, some constant, some common factor. How can you find that? Well, if you put 0 in, you should get an answer of negative 3. See, I'm almost trying that now. So negative 3 would be k times, and that's a 2 times a 1 times a negative 3. Well, that's negative 6, so k would be negative 3 divided by negative 6, so that's a half. Well, which one say a half? It's only the very first one. And that also has correct factors, minus 3 plus 1 plus 2. So 15 is a. Sixteen. If e to the four t is six, what's t? Well, let's just get rid of that e first. So the opposite of exponential is log base e. So it's log base e of six. And then finally t is going to be just divided by that four. Log base e of six divided by four. There's not a lot to that one, where's that? Log e of six divided by four is b. Number seventeen. 